So this is the second part of day seven. Uh, after Tokyo Game Show, we went to Narasawa. It was Ray's 30th birthday. So to celebrate, we decided to see what you could get at a three Michelin star restaurant for $300 each. And uh, this is the meal. It was kind of long, so I wanted to make it its own video, but the restaurant was in the courtyard of a business building. It, it looked really unassuming and kind of looked like a, a hotel more than a restaurant. That's like a hotel. <laughs> oh, that's our nice table. It's an evil with a forest. Uh, our, main, our menu said just the main ingredients were the same. So they're, they're baking our bread. They're letting the, the bread ferment. So they just mixed it with yeast. They're letting it rise in front of us. And then they're going to bake it in front of us. So I'm guessing the heat from the candle is what's giving the heat to the yeast to make it rise. Uh, the green leaf in the dough is a kinome, the Japanese sunshine pepper leaf. Mm. It's contained chestnut leaf powder. Uh, we use Japanese the wild yeast. The idea is like having the forest. Uh, that's why that bread is named the bread of the forest. <coughs> Um, this is chestnut tree powder. This is the addition process. This is the sprinkled over the dough, so adding excellent good flavor in the bread. Then cover up with wood, um, just leave it for over 12 minutes. Then bread should be ready. Sure. You can see the finished baked bread inside the bowl there. So the little black moss thing uh, is actually butter. The cup is called the essence of the forest. Um, see the wood water. So that water was uh, infused with the cedar and oak. Um, please have a sip. Uh, that makes it in the forest. And the black one, the main is the sumi. That means charcoal in English. Uh, this, this was a kind of like an onion, onion ring. Um, the first dish is a uni, the sea earth with a transparent gas pressure. You see that form is on top. Uh, it's called a sudachi. A sudachi is a Japanese uh, citrus fruit that I use. This one was really good. Thunder ash. Paprika sauce and oh, it's video. Paprika sauce and what else uh, is in there? Olive oil. Olive oil. Uh, lemon juice. Then dig in that. This is a langoustine shrimp that has been um, sautéed slightly to give it the feeling of warm sashimi. Chicken and pork soup broth it has been steamed for six hours in preparation for this meal. That's that light? Yeah. <laughs> Brown sauce, the onion essence, with a hint of anise. Put in a charcoal cooked leaf powder, similar to what was on the onion at the beginning of the meal. Okay. That's what gives it the charcoal like appearance now. So, the chef's idea is to make a piece of meat look like a piece of charcoal. That's the whole theme. Now you can see the cut of the beef. Uh, we've served it atop um, matsutake mushrooms with a uh, red wine bordelaise sauce, imported English salt, some uh, wild herbs, and then finally inside the bamboo cup is sake granite. So we've taken the onshu oh. and we've poured liquid nitrogen over it. You're old, congratulations. Be sad. <laughs> <laughs> he got his he got his wish, no singing. <laughs> we actually had a lot of dessert. We had like six kinds of dessert. Besides the birthday cake, there's that one. There's this one, which was some kind of peach yes, uh, or sliced pear, I think it was, with champagne and some kind of custard inside. Then we had coffee with three different kinds of sugar. <laughs> children. <laughs> uh, these were macaroons and they had, um, each one was a different level of milk chocolate. And then they had a huge tray of all these different desserts and you could choose as few or as many of those oh, as you wanted. Menu. Of course, I grabbed one of each. And that's roughly a thousand dollars. 
So that's it. What do you get for $300 at a three Michelin star restaurant for your 30th birthday? I'd say a, a lot of liquid nitrogen, um, a lot of dessert, and uh, more of an experience than, than a meal. Like, I, I don't think the food was spectacular. It was good, don't get me wrong. You know, there's a few dishes that, that even three months later I still remember. But something like the steak, it was really, really expensive meat, but the preparation was, you know, it was kind of weird. It leaked powder and it, it, I would just rather have it like uh, grilled or, 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 or charred nicely. Um, but I think the chef really goes out of his way to create more of an experience, um, a mood, the whole autumn theme, then, uh, and that's maybe what brings it up a level above just like a regular meal. Uh, I don't regret spending the $300, I think it was completely worth it, and um, overall I think it was probably a memorable, birth memorable birthday for, for Ray, and uh, so that's it. Alright, so that's the end of day 7, I'm plowing through this, let's go and get to day 8, I'll see you guys back in the next video.